Hello there and welcome to the Q&A. You ask questions, I will answer to the best of my ability. Let's try and keep this about wow and talking about stuff that helps people learn as opposed to just random inane questions like how many fish tanks do you have? Answer, three. Ask questions in the comments or using the links in the description to contact me. Now, let's learn stuff about WOW. So, I got an email from... I've been getting a lot of emails recently, so I decided to just do this video series. So let's go, let's see how it goes. So, this is from Taylor. I'm just gonna use his first name. So he says, Hey Tusky, I really enjoy your videos and you are my inspiration for leveling an elemental shaman. I've been working really hard to get better at World of Warcraft and have gone and looked at in-depth guides to the main classes and the races that I use. I really want to get better and advance in the game, but I feel like when I learn something and then try to apply it to the game, I'm doing something wrong. When I first started playing, I had never really played games, but I had always wanted to and had also enjoyed watching others play them. In the beginning, I was the noob and I had no idea how to play or what any of the lore was, but I read all of the quests and stories that I could. But after a few months, I stopped being involved mentally in the lore and tried to just level up my characters as quick as I could so that maybe once I reached maximum level, I would have all these doors open to me so that I could just go back and have nothing to lose by taking the time to learn. I know now what an idiotic idea that was. I had watched a lot of videos online and most of the players that were so amazing at the game had taken part in the lore and new in-depth knowledge about the game that led me to completely restart and get back into the story. I was laughing at myself when I had a level 60 character and knew no professions, nothing about the location she was in and basically nothing about the lore. Now I've watched so many videos about noob mistakes and fixed most of them but can't get key bindings down. I feel fine with the keyboard part, but moving with the mouse trips me up because I really don't know if I'm doing it right and most of the videos I've watched don't really help. I have no idea if the average mouse that I have is okay or if a new, more advanced mouse would be worth the money. Most videos I've seen have had mice with 10 buttons on one side and they keyboard strafe and even do some of their spells completely with their mouse. This is one part I've been working on the longest and I feel that if I can't get past it, I will forever be a clicker and never be as good as I want to get. Please help. All right, so a few things before we talk about moving with the mice and stuff like that. First of all, whenever you see a video online, make sure that you try and test out whatever the video is describing. Because you have to remember this, every video guide online is almost always by players of the game. Even the ones by Blizzard aren't entirely accurate. And they might be out of date, there may be a mistake in them somewhere. Even mine have got mistakes in them, that's just human nature. So make sure that you take the time to experiment and play and practice as you learn things from these guides. Don't just watch an entire video that's like 20 minutes long, get all the information and you just forget most of it. So just pause the videos as much as you can and try stuff out. We'll be doing that a little bit later in this video. So next up, play the game however you want. All right, I know that to you it seems like lore is really important and that's great, but to a lot of people lore isn't that important. But to everyone who plays this game, I would say always try out different styles. You know, PVE, PVP, role play, you know? All kinds of different things. Try playing the game in different kinds of ways. Some of them may be more fun than you'd initially thought. You know, you might realize, oh, actually, when I take the time and I read the quests out to myself, or I play with a friend and we read the quests together, and we actually get involved in the lore, actually it makes leveling up quite fun. So just consider that, experiment around. There are lots of different ways to play this game. If you try a different one out, you might find that you enjoy it. Next up, you don't really need a deep knowledge of the lore to be great at this game. And there are lots of people here, I mean for instance in my guild, there are lots of people who are really good at the game, are great raiders, but they know bugger all about the lore. They really do, they don't know a single thing. And they don't mind, that's just not interesting to them, that's fine. But, I would say this, knowing the lore makes the game much more enjoyable, it gives a lot of context to everything, PvP, raids, Everything, the questing experience, the position of NPCs, their names, what they do, the music, the zones, the names, everything. It gives it context. So if you actually spend the time to learn about the lore, it can be really quite amazing just how much detail there is. So consider that. I would definitely suggest considering it. If you're not all that interested in the lore, maybe just try leveling completely through quests and stuff like that. Don't use your items, just finish quest zones and focus on the lore and stuff like that and you'll learn. And it actually is quite exciting. But if you don't want to do that, that's perfectly fine. You can be great without it. Next up, let's actually talk about uh, the main part of this email, which is keybinding and moving with the mouse and doing both at the same time. Now, this can be quite tricky and there are a lot of things that you can do wrong when setting up your keybinds and moving with the mouse. So what we're gonna do now is I am going to play World of Warcraft and I'm just gonna play around on my shaman, right? 
and I'm going to have a camera, I'm going to have my webcam pointed down at my hands to show you where my mouse is, where my hands are, and what exactly I'm doing. So let's go ahead and do that, and I'll be commenting as I play, of course. Okay, so I currently have my webcam on my head, the things I do for you people, eh? Okay, so right now we are in my garrison, and I'm going to try and keep myself... I will be alt-tabbing very occasionally just to make sure that everything is still in focus. So before we really get into this, you can see what my basic layout is right here. I mean, up here you have my screen, and on my right hand is always on my mouse. It's always on my mouse. And as you can see, I don't have a particularly complex mouse. It has two buttons here. It looks nice. It has two buttons here. These are not buttons. These are just lights. And these are just two little extra buttons. And they are completely unnecessary to playing WoW. What I use this for is I actually use it just to uh, push to talk. Or it, that might actually be this one. Uh, if I just hold it, uh, it's... It's this one, yeah. It's the lower button. And I don't actually use the other one for anything. I think it's even actually bound if I try and press it to auto run. Nope, doesn't look like it is. Okay. I probably got rid of that. But as you can see, I've got my left hand on my keyboard at all times and my right hand on my mouse at all times. So when moving with your mouse, never let your, your hand go off of your mouse at any time. Because if you do that, then, as you can see, as soon as I start trying to move around like this, I'm having to keyboard turn. If I'm pressing any of the buttons down here at any point, then I'm keyboard turning, and that almost always is bad. Instead, you want to have your mouse on your, your right hand on your mouse at almost all times. This is, of course, if you are right-handed. If you're left-handed, I'm not entirely sure what you're going to do with this, because I am I have no experience with it myself. But the majority of people are right-handed. So, let's just uh, head out here, and as you see, I'm using W, A, S, and D, although these two are the wrong way around. I just like having it like that. I'm not even sure why. I have I like having it like that. But as you can see, I'm using my middle finger here. Sorry about that. Using my middle finger here for the W key. I use these two keys for the A and D keys, and then I use the same middle, uh, my middle finger for the S key. So I'm just going to do a bit of auto running here. I'm going to head out and do a little bit of combat uh, in Frostfire Ridge now. Uh, is there another person here? So, one of the things you should probably get used to is if you want to really, really uh, learn how to uh, move your camera with your mouse, as I'm doing right now, is you'll see I'm barely moving my mouse at all. I've got the sensitivity really high. Now, this mouse has, a, if you see just here, this, uh, this little button here. If I press it, it actually turns these lights off. And the if I go back to, wow, you'll see now the... As I move my hand around, the sensitivity of the mouse has gone down significantly. So I have to move the mouse much more as I look around. But what you want to get used to is you want to have a high... I believe it's called API or DPI, something like that. Basically, you want your mouse sensitivity to be nice and high. So I've got my mouse sensitivity at the highest so that I can move my camera around, move my cursor around with uh, the, the smallest amount of actual movement as is possible. One of the things you can do if you, if you hit escape and go to, uh, I believe it's interface, and then you go down to mouse, you can change the mouse look speed and your mouse sensitivity here. Uh, I don't actually need to do this because I've got that built into the mouse itself, but uh, by you can you can pretty much compensate regardless of what mouse you use. And we'll get on to exactly what kind of mouse you, mice you should use uh, in just a bit. But as you see here, I'm just going to hit these guys around, and then I'm just going to throw down my Earthquake. And as you see, I just kill these guys pretty much instantly. But I'm just going to play WoW for a little bit. Uh, can I skin these guys? Nope, because I don't have skinning. So we'll just move forward here. And as I'm using my different abilities and all that stuff, as you can see, I'm, I've got them all keybound around this area. Like, I, I've got my... my uh, my flame shock, my lava burst, chain lightning, my earth shock, my lightning bolt, my wind shear, uh, thunderstorm, elemental blast, unleash flame, hex, uh, target of target, and then of course WSD to move around. Uh, X is sit down, Z is sheath unsheathed weapon, C is open my character tab. Uh, I'll go over here to this little outpost here, and you will see it. V actually toggles my nameplates on and off. And then from there, I just build, uh, and I've got F1, F2, and F3, and a few of the F keys as well. So, for instance, F1 is capacitor totem, as you can see there. But what I do then is I then use I use modifiers around here. So uh, I, I use Shift 1, Shift 2, Shift 3, Shift 4, Shift 5. As you see, I'm using those different abilities here. Healing Surge, Totemic Recall. Here's my, uh, my Earthquake. It's Purge. And then I've got Purify Spirit here, Healing Rain. And uh, I've got Totemic Projection there. And I've got my Ancestral Guidance there. 
And then I've got a couple of controls uh, on the F5 and the X6, on the X6 as well. And of course, I've got uh, the rest of them actually as well. I've been playing a lot of different characters, so I've got a lot of different things going on. So uh, you see, I've got everything bound around this area, and of course, Bloodlust Shift F1, nice and easy to hit without having to uh, accidentally hit it all the time. So you see, as I play the game, it's it's mostly just keeping uh, all all of the keyboard stuff on this left hand side of the keyboard right here, and all of the mouse stuff I. I just keep it on the mouse. I, I don't move around. Uh, I don't move my mouse hand off of my mouse at any time. Uh, the only time I do that is when I'm auto running. But that's generally when I'm AFK or I'm not really doing too much as it stands. So that's really the advice I have for you. Just wander around using the mouse, uh, using the mouse like this with a nice high. What was that? Oh, there must be a discipline priest around. Uh, but yeah, just uh, have a nice high sensitivity, get used to it. As you can see, I can move around, spin around, move up and down. And I can move the cursor from the left to the right without really moving the actual mouse too much. And that will really help you get used to using the mouse to actually look around. So that's my advice for this. And before we go, I want to quickly talk about uh, different mice. So I'm just going to alt tab and I'm going to show you this mouse. Now this mouse, as I said, is nice and simple. There isn't really too much to it. I mean, it looks nice, it has, it, it feels nice in the hand, but generally it's fine. You don't need, uh, the most common uh, mouse, as you see a little bit there, uh, you can see uh, the, if I just look up, you can actually see the uh, unlimited echo there, but anyway, my point is that uh, the most common mouse that has the keyboard on the side is the Razer Naga. And uh, I actually, I have used that in the past, and it is, uh, it's a really good mouse, it's very small, I've noticed. Uh, but I did actually use some of the keyboard stuff on it, and it is useful, but it is by no means necessary in any kind of way. You can play WoW with the default interface with a normal keyboard. As you can see, this is just a normal keyboard. It's a mechanical keyboard, if you'll see, if I just uh, click back onto WoW and I jump up and down, you can probably, uh, oh, it's actually making my mount roll, but you can probably hear, it's actually quite loud. So... Uh, it's just a mechanical keyboard, but you don't need any kind of special keyboard. You don't need any of the extra stuff on the on the left or the right. I just use an average keyboard, and it, it works. As long as the keyboard works and you've got your basic stuff, you'll be fine. And the same with the mouse. You've got more than enough shift modifiers that you don't need to do anything with the mouse. You can even put the push to talk key. I mean, normally when I'm playing WoW, I use uh, this, mouse, this mouse button right here for push to talk so that it's... It doesn't really affect me, but you could use anything else. You could use Control or Alt or really whatever you're comfortable with as long as it works. So yeah, mouse, completely arbitrary. As long as it feels good, it's responsive, any real mouse will do. This is an Azza. It's... I, I, my husband got it as a, a free deal as part of his computer when he upgraded. And when my mouse broke, I went over to this. Before this, I was just using your average Logitech, completely normal, no kind of real tools to it at all mouse. So you can get something fairly cheap, $10, $15 at most, and it should be fine. So this is, like I said, just average mouse, and I do, I think I do pretty well at WoW. So that's pretty much what I have to say about my about mouse and moving around with the keyboard. Make sure you are always comfortable. That is the absolute 100% most important thing, that you are comfortable with the way that you play, and that's mostly all I've got to talk about. So that will conclude this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and you found it helpful. If you have any questions for the Q&A, which is this new series I'm apparently doing now because I'm starting to get a lot of questions and I want to be the guy that helps. You know, I want to be the guy. I'm just going to wave my hands around as I do this. But no, I want to be the guy that helps. I want to be the guy that can help you out and just make you better at WoW. So if you've got any questions, regardless of how newbie they are, I'll put them in a Q&A and we can start making this a maybe a weekly thing. Maybe sub-weekly. We'll have to wait and see. But that will conclude this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I wish you the best of luck in the world of Warcraft. i get this bloody thing off my head. Oh.